What's up everybody, it's Janae. I am back with my very first video. I'm gonna just show you guys how I download my custom content and also houses because they do go in different folders. So usually, let's start here. I like to start on the Ebonics website. This is a content creator um, for Urban Sims. So I usually start on this website. They have um, a CC Finds recommendation list, which is just, you know, mods, which you would see a lot of um, simmers use these mods, like the Slice of Life, Wicked Whims is a top one right now. You see it all over the place. And then you also have just like a list of the creators um, who create these things, um, create these mods, or they create um, clothing, hair, nails, anything that you could think of, clutter in the house, all of that stuff, these people make. Um, so I'll just link the CC Finds um, website down below so you guys can check that out on your own. I already have some tabs open just so that we can speed up this process because I'm sure you guys want to just learn how to download these custom content. So this is the first website that I'm on. I clicked on Complex Sims from that CC Finds list and I just went ahead and chose something that I wanted to download into my game. So I just chose the Big Spender collection from Complex Sims. So what I'm gonna do is literally just click that download button. Wait for that to open up. I don't click on anything else. I wait until this timer goes down and then I click that yellow button right there. That is gonna open up Sim File Share. This is, I'm sure, completely safe for you guys to use, so you don't have to worry about it. Just don't click on anything else. Click on that yellow button, and it'll lead you to this page. So, I'm gonna go ahead and download this zip file. Most of the time, it is zip files um, that you download. It already went onto my downloads folder. So here's the thing. I went ahead, on the left side of my screen, you will see um, my documents folder on my right side of the screen you will see my downloads folder we just downloaded the big spender collection it is a dot zip file you will need a zip file extractor which you can um, just google online go ahead and download that it'll just be on your computer when you double click on a zip file it'll go ahead and unzip it for you what I like to do is once I see that there is a folder rather than a zip file right on top of it, I'll just delete the zip file and get it out of the way. So once I do that, I open it up, I see that it's the Versace stuff collection that we um, downloaded. You are gonna make sure that you have a mods folder. The way that you find your mods folder is by going to your documents on your computer, wherever you find that, maybe on your Mac or your PC. And then you go to Electronic Arts, The Sims 4. And then you go to your, well, if you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and new folder, create a mods folder. That simple. Then you will click on that mods folder and how I have it organized, I have mods in here by folder. And then I also have um, just like separate folders, clothing for women, hair for women, body presets. And then I have my men's folders, accessories, shoes, different traits, anything that you can think of that can make your life a little bit more simple when you're downloading mods, go ahead and do that. Um, a lot of people like to suggest that you only do one folder deep, meaning that when you go into the mods folder, one folder deep, literally. So women hair, I literally only have hair files in here. No other folders. So anyway, we downloaded the Big Spender collection. What I'm gonna do is, I usually like to look at the title of these things to just make sure, because I will separate it if I have to. Um, this is all clothing, so I'm just gonna put it in the my regular men folder. 
you can do men's clothing or whatever you want to name the folder you go ahead and do that I'm just gonna highlight all of these click shift highlight and then I'm just gonna drag it to my men's folder so now when I'm clicking on this big spender collection folder that's in my downloads there's nothing in there anymore I can go ahead and just delete that empty folder and it was just that simple so now when I go into my men folder it's likely to be in there don't mind these extra folders they just suggest that you do one folder deep sometimes it still works if you um, don't do one folder deep now I'm gonna show you guys how to download your houses let me go over to the next section I'm gonna close out these um, pop-ups because you will get pop-ups now I'm on the Sims resource. Mod the Sims is also a great website to find custom content, houses, mods, literally anything. Um, the Sims resource though is what I'm on today and I'm using Praline Sims. That is a content creator. She creates very beautiful houses. Um, you can of course look at the downloads, filter it out, however you wanna do it or if you want to take a look at Praline Sims, she is also on um, Ebonics um, CC Finds list. So you'll see her there and it'll lead you right to the Sims resource. Um, if you go straight to the simsresource.com, just create an account so that you can download files and then you can just search Praline Sims. And then you'll just filter it down once you get to her page to the Sims 4, her download Sims 4 and then go to lots which is all right here you can literally do residential or community however you want to filter it you can do that you can just play around with the website so what i like to do of course is just look at the pictures and see which ones i want to download i chose we go up which is i'm gonna just close out of this tab and it's right here so here's how we go up looks Praline Sims makes a lot of base game content, meaning that you don't have to download any expansion packs or anything like that in order to download the house. So that's perfect. You can literally just download the house and the custom content that goes in the house, which I'll show you right here. When you're going through the pictures, you see all these pretty couches, um, you know, plants and tables and chairs that you don't see in the base game it's because those are custom content so you would have to download those things too but for right now you're gonna click that download button I'm gonna wait my 10 seconds because I'm not a member on the Sims resource so it went ahead and downloaded the we go up zip file I'm gonna go back to the main page And it's important to just look at any creator. It doesn't have to be Praline Sims, whoever it is, they will have their creator notes. Usually they'll say what um, expansion packs they do have that they probably used in the house. So what this creator does is she will just name the person she got custom content from that she placed in that specific house and she will list every single item. So I went ahead and let me just click on one for example. I already downloaded all of what she had in We Go Up House. So I don't have to worry about downloading this and waiting 10 seconds. I <clears throat> did that for you guys. When it comes to houses, let's go back to your Sims 4. You're now going to go to the tray folder. You don't have to create a tray folder. The tray folder should already be in um, your Sims 4 folder. It's something that's already there. You don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna unzip, we go up. Now we go up as a folder. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that zip file. Drop down, you see? The files that go in the tray folder usually end in .pp, .bpi, blueprint, tray item, um, it might be .hhi, binary, just anything that's not .package or .script. Usually the creator will tell you what goes in the tray folder. You cannot place any folders in a tray folder, in the tray folder. 
everything just has to be a file so unfortunately you won't know what is what in the tray folder but that's fine I already downloaded we go up but I'm gonna just show you guys again I'm gonna just um, select everything that was in the we go up folder and drag it into my tray folder it's gonna tell me that I already have it so I'm just gonna click replace it's all the same anyway oh I don't wanna oh it's making me do it for all of the files okay there we go so now we go up is empty in my downloads I can just go ahead and move that to the trash and the we go up files are right here because it's at four pop up so we'll just go back to the sims 4 folder and these are all the items that I downloaded, which was under Praline Sims, we go up list. All, all of these clicks are all of the download buttons that I had to click on in order to have that same look house, like same house. So I'm going to just go ahead and highlight all of the zip files so those can open up let my extractor do its thing and it did its thing so i'm going to highlight all of these zip files and move it to the trash i i can't stand clutter so that's what we're gonna do so since these are objects these are dot packages like look this says table lamp sofa rug plant painting these are all objects i can literally just highlight all of these and i'm gonna put it Let's see, where did I have it? I think I have a furniture, yes. I have a furniture decor folder. I'm just gonna drop it in there. I know it's like more than one folder deep in there, but it's okay. Um, I also have the floors, the wood floors. I'll just put that in the furniture folder too. I don't think they go in there, but it's okay. It might go in the build mode if I had a build mode folder, but that's fine. So anyways, it was just that simple. What I'm going to do now is show you guys how you can find the home in your Sims games. Because you do have to now find the home and place it on a lot. And it could be a little confusing. I am just playing a random household just so I can show you guys how to place down the house that we just downloaded which was the we go up house by praline sims i just clicked on new crest since that's empty and what you're gonna do it's not like sims 2 or sims 3 where everything's at the bottom and you can click the houses there and just place them you have to go into your gallery and then you go to your library you're gonna filter it to lots and make sure that you include custom content now you see those ones popped up once I did that and we gonna find we go up now we can place the lot down it is a 2015 lot we're just gonna place it on Jerome's we're gonna do it furnished because we downloaded all of the content that praline sims had on her page And we're gonna wait for that to build. Um, I hope this was super easy for you and very informative for you guys. I know there's a bunch of videos out there, but why not post um, a new and updated video? Um, especially on a Mac because I know some people are playing on Mac. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video.